My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. This episode takes me to sunny San Diego, California. This whole time I thought it was just a retirement community for old folks. I was wrong. It has over 1.42 million people. It's considered the birthplace of California, and they grow more avocados than anywhere else in the country. Just landed in San Diego, gonna grab an Uber the hostel. I'm only paying for the Uber because I got in pretty late. If you want, you can take a bus for 250 or walk two and a half miles. So check it out. I get to stay at this hostel for free through a company called World Packers. If you want to do the same thing, just click the link in this video's description. My buddy Matt's going to explain how it's done. I'm Matt. I'm the manager here at ITH Adventure Hostel. So V's been here for like, what, a month now? Like three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. V and I knew each other in Philly, so I just called her up and like, yo, come work at this hostel. It's not cold here, so what more reason do you need? 24 hours of work in ex and N1 event in exchange for living accommodation in like a team dorm room. And so what that means is, you know, our housekeeping shifts are four hours each. And then we also, like, we have morning housekeeping from 10 to 2. And we have evening housekeeping from 5 to 9. And then we have eight-hour reception shifts. So any combination of those that get you to your 24 hours, plus hosting one event throughout the week, get you free accommodation here at the hostel for as long as you want. 25 hours is the max that you can do on World Packers. You know, everything else varies. Housekeeping shifts might be six hours or three hours instead of four hours. Reception shifts could be four, six, or eight hours too. So it's really dependent on the location and the time commitment is also dependent on the location. Housekeeping, reception, party promoter, content writer, social media blogger, you know, anything that you have a job and a bed for, you can pretty much post on World Packers. I'm still here, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if the volunteering dorm life isn't for you, they also have private rooms available. Personally, I prefer the free option. Welcome to ITH Adventure. My name is Andrew. Just gonna give you a quick tour of our downstairs. Uh, so right here, we've got our FAQ board. Uh, if no one's around to answer any questions for you, it should all be right here. Most importantly, the Wi-Fi. Uh, we can give you a quick tour of the rest of the house. We've got our lounge area right in here. Feel free to come by and relax, hang out, watch some TV. This is our activity board, everything we've got going on this week. Tomorrow we're going to be having a barbecue right on the patio outside. Uh, we've got laundry right out here. Feel free to use the laundry up. We do have uh, our patio right outside here. We'll be setting up the barbecue down at the end. Have it uh, set up buffet style, so feel free to come by and grab some burgers and stuff like that. Right in here is our kitchen area. we got everyone hanging out, having a couple of drinks. Although tired from my flight, I was down for a glass of wine, or two or three. Is this a video? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. It's always oh, video. Man. My turn. As long as you can do it. I believe in you. And remember, your World Packers account lasts for a full year, so travel as much as you want. Well, my name is Renee. I'm from Australia, Melbourne, Australia. I'm going to attempt a love heart pear cake. Yeah, that's not... But look, it's kind of like... <laughs> not really a, a love heart. Okay. Go like that. Get a handle on it. And then flip. Professional. Yeah. That's what they tell me. Hershey's syrup. Oh, Strawberry wait. flavor. It's pink for Valentine's Day. Gotta have a few marshmallows on there. I do not know what this is gonna taste like. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! It's actually really good. No, I can taste it. It tastes like a cherry ripe. <laughs> With the strawberry, it tastes like a cherry ripe. Mm. So we're gonna be walking from the captain's house to the farmhouse to start my morning shift for housekeeping, compost, yummy. 
This is our compost and it's dirty, but it's good for the world and look at all these bugs. So, so this is our banana tree. We're gonna water that big old thing. You have to let me shout out my mom. Yeah, go for it. I'm <laughs> shout out to my mom. Even if you don't wanna to commit to it, it's something to try. It's something that teaches you a lot about yourself. It teaches you a lot. Like, fun fact, I didn't know when you water a banana tree, you water the leaves, not the actual stem and stuff. Well, yeah. So yeah, I would say it's worth it. Hold it like a football. Try and get his wings under your arms so he's not flapping. There you go. What's up, chicken? I kind of want to give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Do it. Okay, there you go. I'm going to lose an eye. It's all right. All right. He's actually a really friendly chicken. Yeah, he's not bad. He's just chill. I he's dig a, it. Yeah, he's, he's super nice. a nice little guy. I'd feed these every day. Oh, yeah. So this is our herb garden right here. We've been working really hard to build it. We took a bunch of old doors from like the basement that we found, painted them, repurposed them, and uh, made some flower boxes. So right now, I mean, I'm no expert, but this is definitely mint. It's great for the mojitos. We have a lime tree out front, and Taco Tuesday bring out the tequila. So it's always awesome and a good time. And good for your food too, not just your drinks. So don't poison yourself. And this is the house that I'll be housekeeping at. Basically, we're just gonna make it look pretty and kill all the germs. <laughs> V's job is to clean, but my job is to do social media posts around the city. Time to explore. Two blocks over from our hostel is Little Italy. Little Italy has been an Italian business and residential community since the 1920s. It's considered to be San Diego's oldest continuous neighborhood business district. At one time, more than 6,000 Italian families lived in Little Italy and toiled to build San Diego into the center of the world's tuna industry. When in Little Italy, might as well have some pizza, going to Landini's, get a slice. I asked them what their best seller was and they said it was the barbecue chicken, so I'm giving it a try. I was told to get the barbecue chicken. I was told right. Damn good. If you happen to come on a Saturday, make sure to check out their farmer's market. One of the best parts about farmer's markets are the free samples. Everything's all organic. Oh, wow. yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Thank you. So these are coconut uh, pancakes, Thai style. bring Chaz here to the Little Italy food court. It happens every Saturday. A lot of free samples and great food. Time to try the healing turmeric tonic. Ooh, it's got some bite to it. It's good though. I feel healed. <laughs> My favorite thing by far was this odd cucumber chili concoction. Both icy and hot at the same time. She told me not to eat this chili. I can eat the cucumber though, right? So then if we're gonna go to the air, Never in my life would I think that cucumber and chili goes good together, but this is delicious. Four bucks. <laughs> Walking around the waterfront park. The city renovated the park back in 2014. Beautiful fountains, lots of new palm trees. I like it. There's also a naval museum and a lot of old boats as well as outdoor music, art, and shopping. And make sure to check out the kissing statue. He's got the moves. As beautiful as the waterfront was, I was told I needed to check out the views across the bay at Coronado Island. Tickets on the ferry are 10 bucks round trip.
It takes about 20 minutes to get to Coronado Island, and it's a beautiful cruise. We are the men who sail the high seas In the rolling foam and the crashing waves With the wind at our backs and the ropes in our teeth We tame the ocean and the gales that we meet we are the men who sail the high seas. Coronado Island was founded in the 1880s and incorporated in 1890. It's a little bit windy today, but still beautiful. It's got sandy beaches and shopping. What more do you want? Actually, I don't want to shop or sit at the beach. I'm going to rent a bike for 10 bucks and drive over to the famous Hotel del Coronado. Beautiful day for a bike ride out here on Coronado Island, and make sure to wear your helmet for safety. After a couple of miles, you come to this. Hey, we're having so much fun here in San Diego, California. Hotel Del Coronado behind us is an amazing view. You have to be here. She's right, but as cool as it was, I need to head back across the bay to show you guys the seaport. The seaport village has over 70 shops, galleries, and eateries, as well as various other attractions for the kids. So walking around the seaport kind of reminds me of Bar Harbor a little bit, Bar Harbor, Maine. It's a little bit touristy, uh, but it's got a bunch of awesome restaurant shops. Nice sunny day, might be a good place to take a date. Tonight is a free barbecue at the hostel. This is the best hamburger in America. And this is our chef, Zach. Barbecue night at ITH. Hell yeah, this is what goes down. Good. Hell yeah. He's a professional, I tell you, professional. If you're wondering why Cajun music's playing in the background, it's because it's Mardi Gras week. So we're walking over to the Gas Lamp District to join in the party. There's usually a cover at American Junkie, but because we came as a group from the hostel, they let us in free. It might not be New Orleans, but we still had a pretty good time. Of course, I couldn't say no to a free shot, and I might have given out a couple as well. But who needs alcohol? We're just here to party. Don't forget, if you want to see how to stay for free at the hostel through World Packers, make sure to click the link in the video description to see how to do it. After free breakfast at the hostel, I walked a few miles over to check out San Diego's number one park. Balboa Park. That's white potato pie. The white potato pie got started back in the 1700s in Maryland. In the Eastern Shore, when they had an access of plain white potatoes, they made the white potato pie. And you know who else made the white potato pie? The Irish people. It's a plain white potato, like a french fry, like a baked potato. We sell it $5 a slice, $20 for a whole pie. As a matter of fact, no one sells the white potato pie in the state of California except for me. It's a plain white potato. Give it a try. White potato pie. Mmm, what does it taste like? 
not what I thought at all. It's a thousand times better. Kind of reminds me a little bit of pumpkin pie, the texture. But yeah, potato, it's like sugary potato goodness. It's delicious. Pretty cool here. Built in 1915, the Botanical Gardens has over 2,100 plants, featuring trees, ferns, orchids, and various other tropical species. I love Botanical Gardens. If the free botanical garden didn't take care of your plant fix, fear not, they also have an outdoor cactus garden. There's a lot of cactuses here. There's also the huge Morton Bay fig tree, as well as a ton of museums and other attractions. In the Spanish Village Art Center, you can browse tons of local artists, and if you're lucky, even catch some of them working live. After Balboa Park, I walked back down to the waterfront to meet my friend Mete. She had texted me I needed to come try a burger she had found immediately. I tried the Thai hamburger. It was so good. So good. How you guys doing? Doing good. <laughs> Pork, egg, and sticky rice. So, one of my favorite things is Thai sticky rice. This is Thai sticky rice done as a bun. Burger with an egg. It's going to be really interesting. See, see what this tastes like. Incredible. This, honestly, I think this is better than a burger would be. Like, I, I think rice done as a bun might be the new thing. This needs to take over the world. This is, that's a damn good idea. Props to these guys. Good job. Now we're hopping in an Uber to head over to check out San Diego's Old Town. Built back in 1769, Old Town San Diego is considered the birthplace of San Diego. It now caters mostly to tourists, but I thought it was pretty cool. Aside from cool souvenirs like this, the town is now pretty much a snapshot of Mexican-American life from 1821 to 1872. This place looks like it hasn't changed since the day it opened. Afternoon, welcome to Racine and Laramie Tobacconist, the oldest tobacconist in San Diego County. This cigar is a uh, small flavored cheroot that, that's made uh, in the United States and it's flavored with anisette, so it smells and tastes like black licorice. And it sells for $3 singly. We have an extra price if you buy more than three at a time. I'm not a smoker, but I was digging the vibes in here, so I decided to try a couple puffs of this black licorice cigar. Smells like black licorice. A real man cigar. Now I don't support smoking, but when you're in Old Town San Diego, you gotta stop by and have a stogie. Speaking of vices, we've been told there's some wine across the street. So of course, we're gonna go investigate. On our way, we found a free outdoor live concert, as well as a bunch of awesome art.
Ah, there's the wine tasting room. Welcome to Rosa's Tasting Room. My name is Joe, and uh, we do local San Diego County beer and wine, beer flights, wine flights, full glasses, full pints. Uh, we do individual tasters for $4 each, where you can select from any of our 10 taps of local San Diego breweries or of uh, any of the 15-ish bottles of local San Diego wine uh, that we have available. As San Diego has 136 wineries and 165 breweries to choose from. Here we have the uh, Pinot Grigio from the Emerald Creek Winery. The color of wine is determined by the exposure of skin to grape or juice, and so the skins dye it a deeper color. And there you go. I approve. Excellent. Now I'm gonna meet some friends at the Sunset Cliffs. Sunset Cliffs. Hi, my name is Aline. I'm from Sweden. Um, I'm here in San Diego for vacation. I met Chas at the hostel. I wanted to take him out here to the Sunset Cliffs because it's a free thing to do and it's pretty awesome. The sunset here is amazing. It's awesome. Taking an Uber back to the hostel for the free vegetarian barbecue. Are we are we supposed to cook cabbage? We're supposed I to grill it? I have no idea. Cooking is just a theory. <laughs> all joking aside, Andrew did a great job and it all tasted delicious. And if you work here through World Packers, you can join the staff meal. So this is what we like to call family meal. We just get together, make something that's cheap and easy, but it gives us a chance to kind of hang out, debrief from a long week. When you do an experience like a cultural exchange, we become like a family to each other. So this is how we take care of each other and show each other love is through food. If you come do the World Packers experience and do a cultural exchange with ITH, you might get to sit down at this table and have uh, a meal just like this. And this is our famous garlic bread. We top it with some cheese and then this is a house-made mixture of butter, salt, um, parsley, and fresh chopped garlic. How is it, man? So f good. <laughs> mm. Very good. Oh, thank you. Ten out of ten. I approve. <laughs> and if you've got a sweet tooth like me, don't worry. For dessert, they've got s'mores. So that's the end of the episode, but I've got some uh, shameless self-promotion releasing an album. Uh, this is one of my songs, played during the credits. Hope you guys like it. Click the link below to check out the full album.
So if you watch my show, you know old Zoltar and I go way back. He happens to follow me around every episode. Might as well get my fortune again. See if he's got any new news for me about my life. Hear your fortune from Zoltar. Ah, yes. It looks like today must be your lucky day. Ah. For I see relaxation in your future. Have no worries about your troubles, my friend. Ah. Zoltar has wisdom enough to conquer them all. Well, he hasn't steered me wrong yet. I guess I'll just keep traveling.